publisher of Shade University. Uh, today's video is going to be on uh, setting your home position when the shade is installed in a hardtop and has a closeout panel on the outer crossbar that touches the hardtop when it's fully closed to disguise the whole unit inside the hardtop. Uh, reason for the video, uh, quite simple. We've had in the past where the shades um, have not touched or the acrylic closeout panel has not touched uh, it's either you know trying to come in too far or it's out too far and the techs in the field or the OEMs are using uh, dip switch 7 to set a new home position. We can't do this. Um, we have to have the tube measurements have got to remain one inch on your middle tube and two inches on your outer tube. Reason being is uh, several. One of them is that's where the whole system box is programmed to travel its set distance, five, six, or seven feet, based on those measurements. Uh, another reason is your canvas is produced with those measurements in mind. So your villas loops will catch when all those measurements are identical, where you've got your one inch on your middle, your two inch on your outer, your villas loops will catch the way they need to. Now there's always fine tuning you can do with your outer tube if your villas loops are a little too loose or a little too tight. Um, you can always adjust that on your uh, outer tube mechanically. I've shown how to do that in other videos. But in this uh, video, what I'd like to do is, say in this case, your shade is three inches from touching your hard top. Okay, your panel here is three inches from touching the shade, but it's fully retracted according to the measurements here, one inch and two inch. What we need to have happen at that point is the clamps need to be loosened up and the whole assembly needs to be slid squarely forward or aft to achieve that closeout panel touching where it needs to touch. So again, one inch, two inch measurements, if the closeout panel is not touching where it needs to, that dimension needs to be changed by loosening the clamps and sliding it forward. Okay, if you guys have any questions, if you don't find it on the website, please feel free to give me a call and I'll walk you through uh, whatever you need. Again, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.